cross. But my God delivered them all. Ladies and gentlemen, we don't serve a dead God. We serve a living God. The same God yesterday. The same God today. If he can do it yesterday, he can do it today. I prophesy to any of you hearing the sound of my voice. Anywhere ugly experience I be with you. With your ladders I may receive a miracle now. this day there was a feast of the Jews and Jesus went up to Jerusalem to experience hear me sir any man that don't have experience is a man that don't want to grow because to every progress there is a process I don't know if I'm talking to somebody here to every progress there is a process every beautiful bread have a process called bakery so if you don't want to pass to the bakery you cannot enjoy bread so for you to enjoy growth, you must pass through experience. I don't even know if there's somebody here. A man who cannot maintain integrity cannot hold. If you cannot be humble enough to sit down to learn, don't stand up to teach others. I don't know if I'm talking to somebody here. Hear me. Makeup does not bring a beautiful wife. Makeup brings a beautiful girlfriend. But character brings a beautiful wife. I want to talk to somebody here. Sir, can I, can I talk to somebody here? Hear me. Sir, shoe, perfume, can bring a handsome man. I can go and borrow a car, say, sir, pay, help me with your car. I begin to drive in the whole lab, but before today I will get a girlfriend. But in a few times to come, the real character of experience of me will showcase. The reason why some of us has failed is because we don't want to pass the experience to get to the top. Any glory you see today, any level you see today, every new level have a new devil. Am I talking to somebody here? So when you see somebody traveling, doing every process for him to travel, that means there's a growth where he's going to. I want to talk to some people here. Here is not the end of it. There are another phase of life coming. I prophesy to you, if Pastor Emeka cannot die, if you, he cannot die, if other states cannot kill you, only you, I prophesy to hundreds of you, under the sound of my voice, if I hear your enemy, your enemies will not kill you. I say your enemies will not kill you. Can somebody shut him in the tongue? of a man. Church, I want you to see this. I will run off from here. Then I will read the scripture and teach you what I want to teach you. This young man dressed well. He's an experience. He believes on me very well. He trusted me. He knows me when he was small. He washes my car. He knows everything about me. When he's about to write his jam, he will call me and say, Daddy, I want to write my jam. I will look at his face. I say, don't worry. I will do it for him. I will do it for you. Somebody from nowhere will walk in. In his front, right in his front, I will write a check of 200,000 and give to the person. He is close to me. He finished the jump. Want to enter university. He still back to me. And he believed I can do it. And I told him, don't worry. In his front, I write a check of 1 million and give to somebody who is in need there. He managed to finish school. He met me. He said, I want to travel abroad. I have the visa. What I just need is just the ticket. The ticket, the ticket, the flight ticket. Sir, I said, don't worry. Somebody from nowhere came out and said, sir, I need one million to pay my ticket. In his front, I write a check of five million and give to the person. To him, he's bragging about me outside. But as the experience is passing through, that without God, I can't help him. Hear me? He knows me. I know him. There are some people that has people. They are both stop, but they cannot benefit anything from them. I don't know if I'm talking to church here. Now look at the experience. There is something between me and this man. And that thing is a gate. That gate is the only gate. Until that gate is being accessible, I can't help him. I feel like helping him. But I don't know why I am not helping him. That is the experience of people passing through here now. They have a lot of people that need to help them. Not that the people don't want to help them. 
But because there is a problem beside them, they have people around them who can push them in to this thing. But because there is a gate between them and their greatness. Today, I prophesy to your life, whatever that has been stopping you before, whatever that making you not to see greatness, if there is a man to pray, there is a God to answer. I prophesy to hundreds of you, under the sound of my voice, if I hear one amen from you, that miracle will come faster. I said that miracle will come faster. I said that miracle will come faster. I said that miracle will come faster. Church, that miracle will come faster. That marriage will come faster. That business will come faster. That traditional marriage will come faster. That contract will come faster. That job will come faster. If I hear your heaven is coming now. Do you know the experience Jesus passed on the cross of Calvary? Let me round up no time. Jesus said, My father, my father, forgive them, for they don't know what they are doing. So do you know that before Jesus made that pronunciation, there was an experience. He said, My father, my father, forgive them, for they don't know what they are doing. But that is not what Jesus meant. Jesus meant, My father, my father, forgive them. I am used to wood and nail. Forgive them. I am used to wood and nail. If that Jesus will have died by plane crash, the Father will have a boat. We have a plane. Jesus will be used to parachute. If that Jesus will have died by motor accident, the Father will be a driver. And Jesus will be a conductor. And he will be used to road accident. If that Jesus will have that inside boat, the father will have a boat and Jesus will be used to swimming. So, but because they know he will die through wood and nail, they send him to the carpenter's house. I didn't even talk to somebody here. Because they know he will die through wood and nail, they send him to the carpenter's house. So he bought the process. He bought the experience of hammer. He bought the experience of wood. He bought the plate of nail. So when they were crucifying him, he said, my father, my father, forgive them. I am used to wood. And nail. Haka, haka, ya. Haka, chiho, ova, ne, me, ma. Hale, bube, ya. Kane, ruari, me, be, no. He see can do can I do ki hatata haka akaya haka jio ofane mema akaya bakaya haka jio ofana gworia alwe ebube ya kene ruari ne bena he see can do Kena digi atata Haka akaya Haka jiova Hechiringi merena Hechiringi mereze Mbowana na sobume Bopano ha nebonam Hibuchimo ibuchim Hibuchi hayam jahonzo Hagada ba chiruzo woko bioma holy la nya kende so hari e wura ko mari yeregere hagene kangeji soro gikelezi hagama isiala nyegeze mu ibuchi iboli la nyam hoka gibebe zoro ndu mu wechenda bere me hoka gibonu nokuru mu Shima choro me bagezo ku eboro mi lele Lord I confess my love for you You are all that I am You made a blind man to see You made a crippled man to walk You are the lily of the valley You made impossible possible Oh I got my toro game mama Munezi no longa ne togi Makana chia nyi di mao Halo bidani There are many of you under the sound of my voice You are asking me pastor When will my own time come? 
Be strong. I decree over your life and identity. Anywhere men has failed you before. Anywhere men have disappointed you before. Anywhere you have gone astray and it looks like nobody is helping you. If you can shout one amen from you, that miracle is coming now. 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 In the name of Jesus. Bring it up. Sir. Before you bring a man to your altar, I know you have assessed the person spiritually, physically, mentally, otherwise. Hear me. A man who has not passed experience will come to everybody. There was a, something I write up today. I said, too much friends are too much expenses. I don't even talk to someone here. Too much friends are too much expenses. Anybody you see that die early, look at the circle of him. This is wrong from him. Look at the man you hosted last time because of a lot of friends wanted to divide the family. But thank God he understands on time. Hear me. When God wants to remember, he does not remember you because you are qualified. I have seen undergraduate feeding graduates. Hear me. God does not know to qualify. God is looking the unqualified to qualify. I might talk to somebody here. He, he, he doesn't want to see you. How you look does not matter to God. How you are looking right now does not matter to God. What matters to God is your heart. Hear me? Before I walked in, I tell people, why well, I used to carry my bandage and preach? So I tell God, any day I stop preaching, stop giving me the breath. I, I'm to somebody here. If they can gossip about you, let them use it as gospel. The church of God will grow. I, I'm to somebody here. When he was saying, he said, be strong. Be strong. I was crying. I was asking myself, Anders in China, are you strong? Did you hear me here? There are many of them now, as I'm about to pray this prayer. What is that prayer? God, I will not die when my miracle is closed. I'm to somebody here. Have you never seen a man who built church finish? After building the church, he died. Another man from nowhere take over. What's that? What's the pastor? I know this man is my friend. I will pass through here. The pastor died in Anambra now. After building the church, it's not three days to the dedication, they shot him. Toa. He died. Another person have taken over. I've never seen a mother who trained the children. Praying for one day for traditional marriage. Trained it to the traditional marriage of her daughter. The woman died. And another woman from nowhere came and sat on the throne of celebration. May I never be absent in the days of my glory. Yes, I'm not somebody here. Have you ever seen a girl who was with a man? Deal with the lady. Deal with the man. The man travel abroad. He spent all his money. He spent all his wealth. He spent all his uh, incomes to make sure the man travel. And the man was there after three years and called the girl. Ne, if you see anybody you like, go ahead with her. Hear me. It's part of the experience. I preach to you and I prophesy to you. Anywhere life have taken you unaware. Anywhere you are tired of life. Anywhere you feel that God is no longer working. I pray for you now. I see many people when you are singing, many of them did not stand up. Sir, if that this leg is okay, I will dance more than everybody here. If there is no iron in this leg, I will dance more than you. Oh, sit, I was singing, people, we are sitting down. You, you are singing your song. You sung from sorrow. The, you came out from joy. The jubilation song, they were not standing up. I begin to wonder. If that this leg was okay. Hear me. A man that has a breath, a complete body, don't know what God is doing for him or her. Give me your hand as I pray for you. Anywhere life has been so tough. Anywhere you feel like giving up now. I pray for you as a prophet. And I join my faith with the man of God on the house. My portion. I 
Abunu Mara, Oye Chineke Nama, Tiere Ugo Bungosi, Oga Boriri, Ibe Jolo, O Namara La, Abara Namu Bupi Weju, Ebu Be Jesus, Abara Chuku, Ibu Kwa Ibe Jolo. Father, I prophesy to ten of them under the sound of my voice. Anywhere life have tormented them. Anywhere life have been hard on them. Anywhere they don't know where to go from here. With their loudest ever by this time tomorrow, let there be a miracle that will terminate their answer. Let there be a miracle that will terminate their answer. Can somebody shout me like that? Madam, madam, on white, open your hand. Stay there, open your hand. I, I, I see where people gather and they are celebrating you. So I saw tent everywhere. I saw mighty men. So not men, but mighty men. Everywhere I gather. And I saw celebration. I saw people coming from diaspora just to celebrate you. Amen. I see heavy celebration coming. Amen. I, I'm not somebody here. Are you hearing me? Sir, until King Gosiah died. That was your last message I had. Three days ago, I was watching you on YouTube. Until King Gosiah died. Isaiah never said the vision. Now, what I'm going to pray that the King Gosiah will die now. So that the celebration will do what we come fast. Amen. I want to somebody here. Yes. Hear me. There are different things between husband and husband though. I want to somebody here. Husband and husband is not the same. Mommy. Eh? Reverend is husband. Husband there somewhere. Husband is a man with bicycle. Then go turn to where they cook for five days. Turn them, turn them, give them. The in law go joyfully, happily eat them. I don't know if I'm talking to somebody here. There's somebody that will come to your house. They call you visit. There's somebody that will come to your house. Come for them. I don't know if I'm talking to somebody here. Yes. Have you never seen somebody here angry, hungry of telling his son, please come now? And there's someone that will call you, I am coming. Tell him I'm not even around. I, I might talk to somebody here. May God give you a miracle that people that laugh at you become to swell with you. Amen. May God give you a miracle that people that don't want to see you begin to see you. Amen. If that your MM is louder, the miracle will be louder too. Amen. If that your MM is louder, your miracle will be louder too. Amen. Can somebody shout, I hold my miracle. Madam, do you hear me? Do you hear me? The miracle is too large. The miracle is too large. The miracle is too large. But hear me. Mind whom you tell your miracle even before the arrival. Sir. Mind whom should we tell the miracle before the arrival. Or else, onlugi ge kutragi disappointment. I'm not talking to you now. When the miracle is coming, it's not far. It's close to you. you. Hear me. When the miracle is coming, don't allow everyone to know. You hear me. The best place, church and gossip are the same. Am I talking to somebody? Children, your papa said I should tell you, shh. Do you hear me now? I see miracle all over you. Yo, man, look at me. The singer, look at me. Are you hearing me? Can you open your Can I talk to you, sir? Can I talk to you now? Stay there. Can I talk to you? Are you hearing me? Be careful. Are you hearing me now? Allow God to use you. That allow men to motivate you. Allow God to do what? To use you. So that God can expand you. But if allow men to push you, God will take away the glory. And you become an empty carton. Do you hear me now? May God give you a voice. Amen. Bigger than whatever you have now. Amen. Lift up your hands. I want to pray for somebody here. I want to pray for somebody here. I want to pray for somebody here. Father, I decree over their lives. I decree over their lives. Whatever that is no longer working fine, whatever that is no longer going well, that men have laughed at you and you feel like you are not doing it well. With your loudest amen, let God give you a miracle that nobody can terminate. Let God give you a miracle that nobody can terminate. Let God give you a miracle that nobody can terminate. 
If I hear your amen, you will not be before your time. So, as I round up this message, I'm seeing that John chapter 1. John chapter 5 from 1. Hear me. When God wants to remember you, He disappoints some more people. Hear me. When it comes to your happiness, there is a lot of goodbye. I don't know if there's somebody here. Not everybody needs to see your miracle. Not everybody needs to experience it. I'm, I'm not going to tell somebody here. I want to talk to my mothers. If my mother would have been alive to see me like this, I don't think she, she would be so happy. I, I don't know if there's somebody here. Mothers, I want to pray for you one minute. You will be alive to enjoy the fruit of your labor. I, I'm not to somebody here. I pray for every mother here, whether single or married, because one day you become a married woman. Today I pray for you. Whatever that wants to stop you not to go where you want to go. If I hear your amen, I stop it before they stop you. I stop them before they stop you. I stop them before they stop you. Does somebody shout? I stop my enemies. Touch your neighbor say it's part of the experience. Are you hearing me now? Come, let me tell you something. You are not serving him. You are serving God through him. I want, I want, to, I want the church to understand. I am going to church in America. I go clean church so that I did not go verse. No. You are serving God through him. So there is a time that men will still serve you. It's through this your experience now. You can handle when men is serving you. I don't know if I'm talking to somebody here. But when you fail not to serve God through the grace you have seen, when the experience comes, you will not understand what they call difficulties and experience. I don't even talk to somebody here. There's something that your father was saying here. I, I, I was crying. The scatter is 2015. They no agree, may rest. 217, they return back again to what? Scatter again. Now 218, 219, 220, 221, 223. 22, 23, God have already do what? Have expanded him. Do you know the reason why? The experience that come, because he was a man who have already served somebody, who have seen experience. So when this experience come, he was able to understand that this is all about experience. Men are in places, and also men are in sizes. When you see a man who God has helped, go and check his experience. There's a lot of experience. I don't even know somebody here. Now, you are so disappointed that man is no longer talking to you the way he's supposed to talk to you. Hear me? The time for you to marry is now. So those times you are looking at them is an experience for you to know the time of man you want. So if all the people around you now have stopped, the one coming now is the one that will marry you. It's an experience. I don't know if I'm talking to somebody here. I pray for you. I pray for you. Anywhere life has been so difficult to you. Anywhere you don't know where to go from here. If I hear one amen from you, let my God give you a miracle that will change your testimony. Amen. If that amen is louder, the miracle will be louder. Amen. If that amen is louder, the miracle will be louder. Amen. If that amen is louder, the miracle will be louder. Amen. Stand up on your feet, everybody. Uh, lift up your hands towards heaven. Towards heaven. Everywhere you are, stand up on your feet. Lift up your hands towards heaven. What is my prayer? God, don't stop here. Continue doing your good. I came to experience you people today. Father, the next time I will come, let there be more expansion. I am talking to somebody here. Lift up your hands wherever you are. Father, I decree over this altar. You told the man in the pool of Bethsaida. I know you have a lot of people around you who can help people. They don't help you. It's part of a spirit that to know that man cannot help. It's only me that can help you. Jesus came and told him, Arush, follow me. Today I decree over your life. As you will shout that amen with a thunderous voice. Wherever life has been difficult. Wherever money has run away from you. Wherever wealth has run away from you. Wherever connection has run away from you. Wherever disappointment has taken over you. If you shout that amen with your believing heart, may God change everything and give you a new song after now. 
May God give you a new song after now. May God give you a new song after now. May God give you a new song after now. In the name of Jesus. Anyone that have dig a grave for you and your family. Anyone that have buy a gasket for you and your family. Anyone that put a commission between you and your growth. Anyone that have buy people that will dig the grave on your behalf. With a prophetic unction upon my life. I decree that your enemies will fall inside that grave. I saw your enemies will fall inside that grave. I saw your enemies will fall inside that grave. I saw your enemies will fall inside that grave. In the name of Jesus. If you can hold your hand on your wallet, hold it. If you can hold it on your pulse, hold it. Father, every experience I need to have for my financial growth to come. Am I talking to somebody here? Sir, this prayer I'm praying so that I know that soon you will call me and say, man of God, everywhere, everywhere. One thing is for a man to come to church. Another thing for let there be an impact when you have gone. Hear me. If it's your pocket, hold it. If it's your purse, hold it. What is that prayer I'm going to pray? Father, let there be a quality experience. That financial exploit will happen in this church. Am I talking to somebody here? Father, I decree over their lives. There is somebody right here. I hear the sound of my voice. I don't want to meet you. No money to pay house rent. The landlord just insulted you this morning. You feel like packing your load back to village. Can I announce to you that by this time tomorrow you will pay that rent. I hear another voice. I want to go to school. I want to go to school. But my family cannot able to cut out my bills. Father, I want to connect you to the heavenly helpers who help with that condition. Today, I decree. They help us that you never experienced. Let them begin to look at you. Amen. There's somebody here. I'm hearing the sound of my voice. You want to travel to abroad. You have your passport, but you don't have what it takes to assess it. In the name of Jesus, that bigger than every other name. He help us from above. Let them look at you now. There is a woman here who are crying for years. For there is no baby. I said, hold my hand on my womb. May Jehovah Jireh, may the God of this commission, give you a baby that will put your enemies to shame. If that your enemy is louder, the baby will be a bigger one. Father, I decree over their hands. I decree over their pockets. I decree over their purse. I decree over their bank account. Today, I decree, wherever things is no longer working fine, as they will shout this amen with a thunderous voice, Father, let doors of financial door be open unto them. Let it 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 be open unto them. In the name of Jesus. Today I decree. If what stop your father did not stop you. That means there is something you know that your father don't know. And that is called grace. Today I decree. Whatever that separated your father, separated your uncle, separated everybody, you have come to your own time now. That is the same thing you want to separate you. Today I stand in this altar. The same thing kill your father, the same thing kill your mother, the same thing kill your uncle. Nobody can boast of anything. But you have come to your own time now. You don't even have anything. You have become a generational cause. I stand in my office as a prophet and I prophesy to you. Thy yoke is broken. Thy yoke is broken. Thy 
Saya kis broko. Thank you, Abba Father. Thank you, awesome me, awesome God. Today has become a perfect day. Thank you. Thank you because I know you have answered them. Thank you. Anywhere you are, lift up one of your hands up. If you have a seed, hold it on your hand. And say, God, I see my prayers. I see this prophetic with this seed. Lift up it up to heaven. Father, I decree. As they will shout this amen for seven times. Give them a miracle that nobody can touch. Thank you, Abba Father. Father, I decree that from tomorrow, many of them will be counting in millions. Many of them will be counting in billions. Many of them will be counting in dollars. If I hear your heaven, let my God give you a miracle. You celebrate Jesus. Thank you, thank you, Lord Jesus. Please make yourself comfortable.